Hi guys, this is Erin at The Eclectic Homeschooler and today I'm going to share with you 10 reasons you should consider homeschooling. Oh. Before I get into sharing with you the top 10 reasons I think you should consider homeschooling, I want you to hear from me that I am in no way trying to judge your past educational decisions or other people's decisions about how our, their children are educated. I just want to share with you the reasons that I think that homeschooling is very, very valuable and is a great option for many people, even you. Number one, faith-based education. This for us, is the most important thing and one of the biggest reasons that we homeschool. We believe that God has given us the responsibility to train up our children, to make sure that our, grow, our children grow up with a worldview that involves Him and His plan for their life and His plan for the world. And when we get to do that at home, we get to learn together as a family about how God expects us to live our lives and the responsibilities he's given us. Number two, family time. This is something that is so important to me and so many other homeschool families that I know. We get to spend time with our kids all day long, which let's face it, sometimes. Oh my darling, what have they done to you? But. I wouldn't trade it for the world because we get to experience things as our children grow together, they learn together, they're developing not only the relationships between themselves, but the relationships between us and them. And it's so great, so, so amazing to be able to see those light bulb moments in their eyes when they get something for the first time. There's nothing like it. It's so incredible. Reason number three, flexibility. This is a big one. There's so many things that go along with this. We have the flexibility of having a slow start in the morning, which means I don't have to wake up my kids at six o'clock in the morning, herd them downstairs, shove breakfast in their mouth, rush them out the door as we're looking for lost shoes and missing schoolwork and rush them out to the bus to get them off to school. We get to wake up when the children naturally wake up, have a nice breakfast in the morning, spend some time interacting with each other, have some free play before we get into doing schoolwork. And then not only do we have flexibility with just how our morning start, but how our entire day goes. We, if we have doctor's appointments, it's no big deal. We can move our math lesson from the morning to the afternoon. If we need to go on a field trip because that's part of our lesson for the day, it's okay we just throw everything else out the door for the day because we'll make it up later. And for vacation time, we can do it any time of the year that we want. We don't have to do it only on spring break or winter break or summertime. We can do it after school going and that means there's less crowds anywhere we go. Number four, interest-led learning. How often have you heard or do you remember growing up in the public school system, why do I need to learn this? When am I ever going to use this in my life? There's so many things that are taught in the school system that are really irrelevant to our lives or they're just not taught in a way that makes it relevant to us. So by doing things that our kids are interested in, we can really dive deep into what they wanna learn and what they wanna know about. And you can doctor lessons on all different school subjects based on interests that our kids have. And still, they're not gonna miss out on anything. Rather, they're gonna get a much richer and deeper education by getting to study the things that light them up and make them come alive. Isn't that what it's about? We want to instill this love of learning for our kids, not just to force a bunch of facts down their throat that they're gonna have to regurgitate on some test later. We want them to love learning, because if they love learning, they're gonna go so much farther in life, which is our goal down the road, right, is to help them find a career path, something that they're passionate about, that they can do for the rest of their life. And when we're homeschooling, we can allow them to dive deep into those passions and those desires. Number five, individualized learning. This was a huge one for me when I decided to start homeschooling. One of the main reasons was because I wanted to be able to tailor 
our children's education to not only things that they're interested in, but on their own skill level to not pigeonhole them if they're maybe more advanced in math than the rest of the kids their age, they can move ahead. If they're maybe behind on reading or something, we can choose a curriculum that's one grade level lower and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Grade level is irrelevant. The thing that's the most important is seeing progress in our children. Number six, freedom. Freedom to move, freedom to play, freedom to explore, freedom to experience the world around them. When you homeschool, you have the freedom to let the children run around outside for half the day, to learn about the plants that they experience while they're out there or the animals that they may see, to learn about the weather, to learn about any number of things. When we homeschool, we have the freedom to not take tests. Well, what do you know about that? Number seven, a safe learning environment. By our kids being at home with us, the place where they feel the most safe and the most comfortable to be who God made them to be, they get to grow up with a strong foundation and a strong understanding of knowing who they are and the plans that God has for their life. They don't have to worry about what the person sitting next to them thinks about them. They don't have to listen to people talking down to them or making fun of them because maybe they don't like the same type of music or they don't dress the same. Maybe they march to their own beat and they don't care what other people think. And that's a good thing because I don't want my kids being just like everybody else. That would be boring. I want my kids to be who God made them to be with all their uniqueness and all their beautiful and different intricacies and being at home with them. We get to help them learn what that is within them and help develop that the skills and the abilities to pursue their passions. Number eight, socialization, which may sound a little counterintuitive being one of the primary questions I get asked when I tell people I homeschool is, what about socialization? And I tend to think that homeschoolers can sometimes be even better socialized than kids that are not homeschooled because they're around kids and all different types of activities. Homeschoolers are not just boxed into their house. No one will get in here without me knowing it. Homeschoolers go on field trips. They participate in co-ops, in sporting activities, um, all kinds of things uh, with kids of all different ages. And so they're seeing and learning from people that are older than them and um, seeing how they should be growing and developing and learn how to interact with people in those ways. But they also learn how to be helpful with younger kids and how to teach them how to grow up and follow in their footsteps. And they also, they learn how to interact with adults on a deeper level because they're around adults more. They uh, know how to have a conversation that's deep and meaningful. Number nine, character development. This is something as homeschool families, we get to participate in so much more than if our kids were away from us. We get to choose the morals and the values that we want to instill in our children and make sure that those things are reinforced throughout the day. We can teach them how to share, how to be involved with others, how to be helpful around the house. Developing things like diligence and persistence and um, having a good attitude and perseverance, all of those things we can really dive into. Our children are learning from us the things that we hold most valuable and most important. Number 10, preserving childhood. By homeschooling, you get to ensure that your children have a slow start to their education, which is really developmentally better for them. Albert Einstein himself said, play is the highest form of research. Children were not made to sit in a desk all day. They aren't supposed to be confined to four walls and rigid time schedules. They need the freedom to wonder at the amazing creation that's around us. By homeschooling, we get to provide them that, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So that's it. 
Those are my top 10 reasons, but there really are many more reasons I love homeschooling. And I hope this video has encouraged you. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and look forward to more videos about the practical ways to go about starting homeschool in your family and things that you can do to develop and foster those incredible relationships with your children. Thanks, bye-bye.